Pascal? Should I paint the lights over Corona? <gasps> should I paint one of our friends like Elsa or Belle? Or should I paint you? <laughs> That's what I'll do. Now you have to hold still and don't change color. I need to get this right. Oh, the door. I wonder who that could be. Oh, it's just your friendly neighborhood Flynn Rider. Flynn? How'd you get in so fast? Even closed doors can't stand up to the smolder. Just kidding, the door wasn't locked. I came right in. Well, you're just in time. I was just about to paint Pascal. Why don't you get in there too and I'll paint you both. You just have to stand still for like a couple hours. A couple hours? I wonder who that could be. Maybe it's Elsa. I borrowed her sweater the other day. She said the cold didn't bother her anyway, but maybe she came back to get it. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, I need your hair. Oh gosh, Rapunzel, you've got to start locking your doors. Rapunzel, dear, your mother is getting old. I just need a teensy weensy bit of those golden locks to make your mother dearest young again. Make me young again! Power gleam and glow, let your power shine. Make the clock reverse, bring back what once was mine. This is the real me. You know, Mom, it's okay to grow older. No, Gothel. A, you're still not my mother, and B, I am never giving you my hair again. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Oh, oh my gosh! Flynn! After watching our movie, I see that this thing works pretty well. Now you will stay here while I take this nuisance somewhere so he can't bother us anymore. Then I'll come back for that hair. <laughs> Flynn, no! Pascal, you have to do something. Go get my friends and tell them to save us. The cold doesn't bother me, but it doesn't stop me from making really cute sweaters. My Etsy shop is gonna be off the hook. doing here? Timmy's in the well. What? But I don't know anyone named Timmy. Hmm, that can't be right. Oh, I know. Hold on just one second, okay? <gasps> this apple looks delicious and not poisonous at all. Learn my lesson there. Only take apples from trees, not strangers. Oh, go for Snow. Hey, Snow. Yeah, it's me, Elsa. Hey, I have a huge favor to ask. Pascal, he just showed up at my castle. Pascal? You mean Rapunzel's chameleon? Yep, that's the one. Yeah, he just showed up at my door and I have no idea what he's saying, but I know that you're really good at talking to animals. <gasps> I am! Put him on the phone. Here you go, Pascal. Uh-huh, uh-huh. With a frying pan? Oh no! What's he saying? He says that Mother Gothel is back at it trying to steal Rapunzel's hair and that she took Flint somewhere and that we have to get to the bottom of this, so let's meet at Rapunzel's house, okay? You got it. See you there. Hey, Snow, thanks for meeting me here. Of course. Have you tried the door? I did. It's locked. Rapunzel, are you in there? Crazy, but I don't think that's Flynn or Rapunzel. No, definitely not. They would never be that rude, even when they're sick. And you know what? Those were really bad voice impressions. Yep, something is definitely up. <gasps> and look at those marks on the ground. <gasps> and look at this! It's Flynn's hairspray. He can't properly smolder without it. Everyone knows that. It looks like the marks are going that way towards Rapunzel's old tower. Definitely. I'm calling in backup. So, you think he's up there? Yeah, I do. You know how they say that you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, you can't teach an old villain new tricks either. That's where she always puts people. Hey, you guys. We came as soon as we could. So Mother Gothel has Rapunzel. I can't believe Flynn would let this happen. We're pretty sure that Mother Gothel took him. Yeah, and we think he's up there. Flynn, are you up there? 
Hello? Princesses? Oh, yeah, it's us. You guys, Mother Gothel has Rapunzel and she locked me in the tower. What about the side door? She double bolted it. I don't know how I'm ever going to get down. Jasmine, what about your magic carpet? Aladdin has it. He went on a business trip with Genie and Abu to the Cave of Wonders. Oh, I have an idea. Luckily, I brought supplies. <gasps> what are you going to do? I'm tying this rope to this arrow. Then I'm going to shoot it up to Flynn. And Flynn, you can use it to climb down. Here it goes. Okay, I'll just tie this to something and, and I'll climb down. Slowly. Just climb down, but don't look down if that's possible. I got it. I got it. I got it. I gotta say, it's been a rough day. Thanks for the snow, Elsa. Oh, it's no problem. Let's go save our girl. You'll never get away with this, Gothel. Oh, my dear. I already have. <laughs> what have you done with Flynn? Oh, you don't have to worry about that annoying Flynn anymore. I got rid of him. Now sing. Never. Fine. Maybe I'll let you see him if you sing and make me young again. Okay, you guys remember the plan, right? Yeah, we got it. Let's do this. Now sing! Go away! I said I'm Rapunzel and I'm very sick! <coughs> Gothel, we know it's you, not Rapunzel! Curses! How did they know? I've been taking those acting classes. I thought I was pretty convincing. Hold on, Rapunzel. Gothel? What do you want, pesky princesses? We want our friend back. We want our friend back. Are you guys even that good of friends? She lived in the tower most of her life. She is our friend and... 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 And if you don't give her back, we'll have to get Flynn involved. Oh, Merida. Flynn is locked away where you never find him. <laughs> in the tower? Um... No. And more importantly, Rapunzel wants to be my daughter now. So we are going to live happily ever after as mother and daughter. Bye bye. Yeah, I don't think so. Sorry, Gothel. It's been fun. Wait. No, it hasn't. No! Ugh, foiled again. I need to get a new tower. Thank you, guys. Of course, Rapunzel. We're always here for you and Eugene. Wait, you told them? my favorite class of the day, gym class. You must be swift as a coursing river with all the strength of a great typhoon. Ugh, this is my least favorite class. Hopefully we can do something fun like yoga. I'm just not a big organized sports fan. I brought me bow and arrow, just in case we do some archery. I just love cheerleading and I hope they teach us a very special cheer like this one I know already. Princess Pride, Princess Pride, we are here to so step aside! <laughs> oh, that could be so fun! Oh, or we could do gymnastics. We could learn some really cool flips. Well, whatever we do, at least we're all in the same class together. <laughs> all right, let's go. Moosh is teaching, he is the best gym teacher ever. I still can't believe they let a dragon teach gym class. Of course, he's the best. He taught me everything I know. What's going on? Something doesn't feel right in here. Mushu, are you in here? This feels like some bad juju. Definitely don't think we're gonna be doing any of the things that we talked about. Hello? Anyone in here? Hello, princesses, and welcome to gym class. So sorry that your teacher, Mushmush, couldn't be here today. Um, it's Mushu, and he's always here. Right. Well, he said he had a sore throat said it was on fire, so I'm going to be your gym teacher for today. Now, while I decide what you're going to do, each of you give me 20. 20? 20 what? I didn't bring any cash, I only have card. She doesn't mean dollars. 
She means jumping jacks. Ugh. At least it's built in arm strength. How long do we have to do this for? Keep it up, ladies. Glad this is over. I've decided on the perfect plan for our gym class today. Is it cheerleading? Please tell me it's cheerleading. No, Elsa. It's something much better, more competitive, and more dangerous. Uh-oh. I'm nervous. We're all going to play Bully Ball. Bully Ball? That sounds really bad. Yeah, what's Bully Ball? Well, Merida, it's like dodgeball. Except the whole time you are throwing the balls, you have to say Bully Ball. And when you get hit, you have to say, don't be a bully. I don't even know how to play. We don't have dodgeball in Agrabah. Princesses. Ugh. Jasmine, it's easy. Two teams are split on opposite sides. Then you just try to target each other with the balls and start throwing. If you get... I don't like the sound of this. Too bad, Mulan. I'm the teacher and what I say goes. Now everyone, go pick up a bully ball. Now. Wait, hold on. What are we playing for? What do the winners win? And what do the losers lose? Well, Merida, the winners will be losers, and the losers will be winners. Excuse me? What does that even mean? She's speaking in riddles. I don't understand. It's not time to understand, Belle. It's time to play ball. Now, Jasmine, Elsa, and Tiana against Belle, Mulan, and Merida. Get on your marks. Ready, set... Go! Do we really have to? I don't think we have a choice. Let's get this over with. I guess let's just make the most of it. Bully ball! Oh, don't be a bully! Bully ball! ball. Don't be bully a bully! Ball. Bully! Bully ball! Perfect. This is going exactly according to plan. Bully ball! Bully ball! Oh, don't, don't be, be a bully. bully! Louder, ladies! I can't hear you. Bully ball! Don't be a bully! All right, that's everything I need. I mean, the game is over. So what team won? Elsa, Jasmine, Tiana, your team won. <laughs> Good job, you guys. That was really weird, but kind of fun. Yeah, let's go. We all deserve some delicious desserts after that game and I brought beignets. I'm a little worried. What do you mean, Elsa? Well, something seems a little weird. I mean, she was saying all this stuff about winning. She said the winners are losers and the losers are winners. It doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about her. She's just a crazy old fairy. Let's forget about her and enjoy the beignets. <laughs> now that I've filmed the girls looking like bullies, Principal Pepperoni will have no choice but to expel them. <laughs> and I can finally get rid of those princesses at Princess Academy. Hmm. Excuse me, Principal Pizza. Uh, my name is Pumpernickel, Principal Pumpernickel. All right, Principal Poppy Pop. There's something I need to discuss with you. That's Pumpernickel, but of course. Uh, go right ahead. As you know, I was subbing for gym class because the teacher became suddenly ill. Strange. He seemed fine the other day, but it's so nice of you to substitute. Right. So, I started teaching the princesses how to play dodgeball, a fun, harmless, popular gym activity that should no way be dangerous or mean. Yes, yes, I'm familiar with dodgeball. Go on. Then, out of nowhere, Elsa, Tiana, and Jasmine started bullying the other princesses. Bullying? I don't allow that at Princess Academy. Yes, then they started shouting bully ball. I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh my goodness, tell me more. And then, the other princesses started shouting, don't be a bully. Wait, really? Elsa, Jasmine, and Tiana? That doesn't sound like any of them. I couldn't believe it either. My sweet, gentle heart almost burst because I was so upset. I knew that it would be so hard for you to believe, so I have this video to prove it to you. It is hard to believe. Let me see that. Bully ball. Bully ball. Oh, don't, don't be, be a bully. bully. Bully ball. Don't be a bully. Isn't it shocking? 
Oh my stars, I can't believe what I'm seeing. But you're right, Elsa, Jasmine, and Tiana are being big bullies. I have no choice but to call them down to my office. Oh, just what I planned. I mean, that's what I would do. Just so terrible. I never saw it coming. Mm, these are delicious, Tiana. How do you do it? Well, it's my secret recipe. Elsa, oh, Jasmine, yeah. and Tiana, please come to my office immediately. What's that all about? It has something to do with Maleficent. I just know it. Well, I hope we're not in trouble. We better go soon. He didn't sound happy. Good luck. I'm sure it will be fine. You never know. Bye. <sighs> Come in, ladies. I have to say, I'm very disappointed in you. What's the main rule of thumb here at Princess Academy? Let, let your, your conscience, conscience be your guide. And you ladies did not let your conscience be your guide. Maleficent here showed me a video of you bullying the other princesses. Wait, no. You've got it all wrong. Yeah, Maleficent tricked you. None of that is true. She twisted it. What did I tell you, Principal? I told you they would try to deny it. That's why I took the video. Video? I have a video of you three being bullies. And bullying is not tolerated here at Princess Academy. Expelled? Expelled? We shouldn't be kicked out of school at all. This is all a trick by Maleficent. She just wants to get rid of us because she's a villain. Yeah, I mean, haven't you seen Sleeping Beauty? Villain or not, I've seen the video Maleficent showed me and the proof is in the pudding. Mmm, pudding. That sounds good. It's almost lunchtime, so I need you girls to go and I need to go get lunch. This is ridiculous. Ta-ta! See you never, princesses. Wait a hot second! What are we gonna do? So, what happened? Yeah, are you guys okay? We were... we were kicked out! <sighs> Wait, what? Kicked out of school? That's crazy! Why would you guys be kicked out of school? Yeah, you'll never do anything wrong. Maleficent tricked Principal Pompaneco. Yeah, she apparently made a video of us playing bully ball. And that's why she made us say bully ball over and over and over again. She was making a video to frame us, to make us look like bullies. But that's crazy. We know you guys aren't bullies. Exactly, and Principal Pumpernickel must know that too. He says he believes the video. I mean, I have to say it does look really convincing. So that's what she meant by the winners will be the losers. You guys won the game, but she framed you. Exactly. I knew I had a bad feeling about this. Attention teachers and students. If there are any princesses still in school that may have been expelled, those princesses need to exit the premise immediately. Thank you. He obviously means us. This is terrible. I guess we have to go home now. I mean, what's Olaf going to say about this? He's going to be so disappointed in me. Wait, how does Principal Pumpernickel still know that we're still here? Probably from the school cameras. Oh my gosh, that's it. What's it? If there are school cameras that are showing us right now, then there are probably cameras in the gym. Do you think they film gym class? There's probably video footage of our whole class with Maleficent. You're right. The only way to fight a video is with a better video. Let's go get it. I think I know the room where they keep all the video footage. It's right by the principal's office. Final warning for all princesses that have been kicked out of Princess Academy to exit the premises. We can't, Tiana. They're going to get mad. Me, you, and Jasmine, we have to go. Don't worry, ladies. Me, Mulan, and Merida will figure it out and get that video footage. Perfect. Me, Jasmine, and Tiana, we're going to wait outside. We'll text you, so just let us know. Don't worry. If anyone can get the freedom to come back to school, it's us. Maleficent is going down. Bye, ladies. Good luck. All right, time to go find that video. Excuse me, princesses. Just where do you think you're going? Oh, you know, just about to head to class. Exactly, we're just on our way there now. I'm sure you must be all so sad about what happened to your pathetic little friends. 
Hope you don't do anything bad or something might just happen. I don't know what you're talking about, Maleficent. We aren't doing anything wrong. Fine, your classroom is that way. I'm going that way. We can walk together. Drats. Excuse me? I think she saw a rat. You, uh, just this way. What are we gonna do now? We're gonna have to wait all the way to the end of class to get that video. I'm texting Elsa right now. Okay, <gasps> I just got a text from Merida and it says that Maleficent's trying to get them to go to class so they don't mess up her plan. We need to come up with a distraction. So what do you think we should do? Um, <gasps> do you still have your frog talisman? Ooh, good idea, Elsa. I love where your head's at. I do, it's in my backpack. Let's hop to it, girls. What are they saying? They said they're coming up with a distraction so we can go and find the video. What kind of distraction? Something about a lean, mean jumping machine? So that, kids, is how photosynthesis naturally occurs and... Oh, oh my gosh, is that a frog? <gasps> Oh, that's not just any old frog. Hey, Tiana. Hey, you guys. Go quick, and I will distract everyone. You got it. Let's go. Okay, we got in. The video files should be on one of these computers here. But how do we know which one? Step aside, girls. This is my territory. This is where my tech support training comes in handy. What will Principal Pumpernickel's password be? What goes on Pumpernickel bread? Peanut butter and jelly? No. Okay, how about bologna? No. I got it. Pastrami. Got it. Now I just have to find the video log files. Got it. Merida, you won't believe what Mulan just sent me! Principal Pumpernickel! Principal Pumpernickel! Princesses, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in class? We are, but this is more important. We have proof that Maleficent tricked you. And you wrongfully kicked Elsa, Jasmine, and Tiana out of school. What do you mean? I saw the video. We have another video. Look at this. Wait a second, that's Maleficent! And she tricked you guys into saying that! Exactly, that's what we've been trying to tell you. Her video was deceiving, but this is the real story. She was trying to get us kicked out of school because she doesn't like princesses. She's a villain! I feel so bad. I'll call the other girls to come back right away. Oh, don't worry, I'll text them. What's going on here? You girls are supposed to be in class. I took you there. Sorry, Maleficent, but stopping you from framing our friends was just a little more important. I don't know what you mean. Principal Pop-Tart, you know these girls are lying to you. You saw the video, I showed it to you. Yes, but these girls showed me the real video where you tricked them. Sorry, Maleficent, but it looks like the only bully here is you. You are kicked out of Princess Academy until further notice. What? This is ridiculous. Knock, knock, we're back. Oh, hi, Maleficent. Sorry to burst your bubble, but your wicked plan didn't work. How did you three get back here so fast? Oh, you know, once Merida texted us, we just hopped right over. Maleficent, you gotta go. Elsa, Jasmine, Tiana, I am so sorry I believe this villain. Please come back to school. You are officially unexpelled. My apologies. No worries, it was just a sneaky trick. Thank you so much, Milan, Merida, and Belle, for helping us out. <sighs> just you wait. I'll be back. Anna, do you know what today is? Um, Olaf's birthday? Coronation day? Fourth of July? Free donut day? No, silly goose, it's Friday the 13th. Wow, it hasn't been Friday the 13th in such a long time. It's like the first time. 
in forever. But wait, what does that mean? It's a superstition that when Friday falls on the 13th, strange things start to happen. Strange things like you being it, Ted, you're it. Oh, Anna. never know when I'm gonna accidentally freeze someone. I would much rather be normal. I, I wish, wish I, I had, had your, your life. life. Whoa. What happened? I feel so weird. I feel so cold. You look like me. You look like me and, and I look like you. Oh my goodness. When we wish to be each other, we must have switched places. I mean, it's Friday the 13th. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Belle and Rapunzel are gonna be here any second to go shopping. Well. Well, what? We might as well embrace it. I mean, this could be fun. Yeah, you're right. We did say we want to be each other. Let's see if they can tell. Oh, Belle and Rapunzel? Okay. But be careful. Whatever you do, do not freeze anything. Hey girls, my two favorite sisters. Are you guys ready to go to the mall? Yes, I, Elsa, am so excited to go to the mall with you guys and my sister, Anna, because I'm Elsa. Okay. Are you guys feeling okay? You're acting just a little strange. Well, it is Friday the 13th and... And we are just so excited to go shopping. Uh, let's go. Oh, I love this store, Wandering Oaken's Dress Shop. Oh, fun. I want to get a new dress to impress Flynn. Yoo-hoo. Big summer blot. Have off swimming suits, sundresses, and a sun bomb of my own invention. Yeah. Wait a second. Don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, me? No, no, I don't think so. You look familiar, but something looks different. Oh well, woohoo! Big summer blowout! Let's go to a different store. Thanks, Oaken. I mean, I've never met you before. Um, thank you! Is it me, or is Anna and Elsa acting way different than normal? They are. I think something is up. Let's split up. I'll go with Elsa and you go with Anna and we'll try to get to the bottom of this. For the first time in forever, I'm finally at the mall. Anna, that's my song, silly. Oh yeah, right. Is um, anybody in the mood for some sandwiches? I, I love sandwiches. You do, Elsa? I thought I love sandwiches, remember? Hey, Anna. Do you want to help me find a new flower for my hair? And Elsa, why don't you come help me pick out a new book? Okay. Bye, El. I mean, Anna. See you, sister. So, Anna, how's Kristoff? Oh, uh, Kristoff, you know, um, he's good. I adore him. You know, no cuter couple than uh, Anna and Kristoff. I mean, I mean, me and Kristoff. Right. Purr. It's kind of cold in this mall. Oh, the cold never bothered me anyway. Oh, I mean, is it cold? It is cold. I'm so cold. We should go buy cute jackets. I love hot cocoa. Nothing goes better with a new book than a cup of hot cocoa. Me too. Oh my goodness, I love hot cocoa so much. There's nothing better on a cold day in Arendelle. This isn't hot at all. It's freezing. And there are ice cubes in it. Oh no. Well, they must have made it ice cocoa. Actually, it tastes pretty good. I can't believe I did that. I didn't even know I did it. Keep it under control, Anna. Oh, there you two are. Anna, help me pick out this cute snowflake flower for my hair. Aw, fun. Elsa and I are just drinking some ice cocoa. Iced? Uh, it's a new thing.